Hello everyone at YouTube. Uh, this video today, and sorry I haven't been able to make videos here lately uh, due to the fact that I've been extremely busy, but uh, today's video I will be discussing uh, what is uh, uh, commonly asked of me. I uh, currently got a, or recently received a email from someone who wanted to know uh, where to purchase ant miners. They wanted to purchase 50 ant miners. Uh, and I wanted them to understand what is required when it comes to having and operating 50 ant miners. So uh, this is basically what is required. You must have minimum 400 amp service uh, provided to the uh, amp miners. Uh, this is requiring 300 amps of power for 50 amp miners, maybe slightly less than that, but uh, on uh, the average summer day, you will be pulling approximately 300 amps for 50 amp miners. You will uh, have to have 220 volts uh, at 300 amps uh, provided to the APW 13 or APW-16 uh, power supplies or their equivalent. Uh, if you use 120 amps, uh, or 20 volts, excuse me, 120 volts, this will give you 600 amps. So uh, you definitely want to use 220. This will also, uh, the miners themselves, will produce 150,000 BTUs per hour. This will have to be dealt with. Uh, the miners will also require approximately 30,000 cubic feet of air per minute for proper ventilation. Uh, that's just on the supply side. Uh, because you're going to want a negative pressure on the hot side, you must have an additional 35 to 40,000 CFM uh, for the hot side. Uh, this is uh, in material costs. Uh, in order to purchase them, have them shipped to you uh, with the power supplies is going to be about $80,000. Uh, this is is just to get the miners and the power supplies. Once you have the miners and the power supplies, you're going to have to build a small data center uh, with a hot and cold aisle, very similar to one that I have as a backup in uh, my own um, backyard. Uh, so that uh, is going to cost you an additional $100,000 to build. Uh, you will have to have uh, approximately 20 tons of cooling uh, to be able to maintain these at a uh, proper temperature. Uh, you will also have to have uh, multiple, uh, I currently have uh, six variable speed uh, high capacity uh, ventilation fans that are moving the air properly into the supply side on the coal side and then out of the hot aisle. This is pretty much what is required in order to uh, have 50 ant miners. Now that's only 650 uh, terahash uh, at uh, the purchasing the latest of the S9s. So that is only going to return you about $325 per day. Now that is gross, not net. This is what is going to um, really to be determined upon your overhead costs as to what your net profit margin is. Uh, I would suggest that you go to any um, calculator, uh, Bitcoin calcul mining calculator, and this will give you a idea of what the average Bitcoin miner will earn for having 650 terahash. You'll find that it's not very much. Um, 
So that's for average. Uh, my, I'm not average by any means. Uh, there are multiple ways to uh, increase your profit margin by um, mining multiple uh, Bitcoin protocols, which is what most people don't understand, that there are several Bitcoin protocols that can be mined simultaneously. Uh, also, uh, the fact that you must have uh, very, very low power costs. Uh, currently, um, in some of my locations, I have 2.8 cents per kilowatt uh, on average, and uh, other locations, we have 6 cents per kilowatt. Uh, those are our backup locations. We only use those as backups for uh, when there's a failure of some sort. We don't want everything going down. Uh, so the um, this is what's associated with it. Now, I, I'm not going to tell you any of my secrets. Uh, it's just not going to happen uh, unless you invest with us. Uh, this is because I know exactly what I've been I'm doing. I read constantly on how to do these things. Uh, not only that, I am mining Zcash, Dash, uh, Ethereum, and several other coins, uh, which are profitable. Um, and this is uh, what we we do every day. Uh, it is not for the small investor to get into and become profitable because uh, you have to understand all, all of the different protocols. You have to know how to uh, set up Stratum servers. You've got to uh, have everything properly secured. You're going to um, have to have your own VPNs. You're going to have to uh, constantly monitor these things 24 hours a day. Um, this is quite a task. Plus, you have to understand HVAC and electrical. Um, these are two of the most critical uh, problems that most people do not understand, and then they end up destroying their investment because if you have a system that's not properly wired, You'll burn up the, the machines either from under voltage or you'll have uh, any num other number of electrical issues that uh, can completely destroy your miner in just a matter of a microsecond. Uh, next, you have to understand the ventilation part 100%. If you do not understand what st uh, static pressure is, don't even bother. I have received far too many letters from people stating that they purchased a large amount of ant miners and now half of them are dead and they want me to explain why did that happen? Well, that is because they did not understand static pressure. Static pressure is something that uh, when you're dealing with this type of uh, air movement is uh, has to be dealt with. Otherwise, there are several issues that you're going to run into where the miners are not able to properly cool themselves. They will actually recycle hot air uh, and the airflow running across the boards will be dramatically reduced. Uh, having a static pressure of uh, 0.5 uh, inches in water column will reduce the amount of CFM moving across the uh, the boards by half. So let's say they normally run at 300 CFM per unit. Then you have a you give it an additional uh, half inch static pressure. You're going to reduce that to 150 CFM, and then. Even though you'll feel air blowing out, you will not understand why it's causing the temperature of the boards to rise dramatically. That is because it's not moving enough air, because there's not enough air being supplied to reduce the static pressure down to a 0.01 to a 0.02. That is what is required when you're moving this kind of air. Now, if you have one amp miner or maybe two amp miners, it's no big deal. Uh, but when you're getting into 50, 60, 100, or several thousand of these, which we have, 
uh, then you are dealing with much, much greater forces. And they must be dealt with in the proper manner. Uh, also, uh, you must set up all of the proper safety uh, uh, mechanisms to prevent fires, to, uh, to deal with the heat uh, properly. Uh, you've got to uh, try and be as efficient as possible. There's a lot of different methods I use, such as uh, we use ground cooling, uh, or ge what we would call natural geothermal cooling uh, for our intake air. This reduces the outside ambient uh, temperature uh, down by as much as 20 and 30 per, uh, degrees. Um, this is a system that is quite complicated, but it uh, re dehumidifies the air and produces a uh, we, on, let's say, a 80 degree day, uh, we will have about 60 degree air coming into the data center that has been dehumidified uh, by about probably about 30 percent. So this is one of the ways that I'm able to save quite a bit in energy. Uh, also, uh, you must be able to uh, have uh, working knowledge of IT. Uh, you must understand Linux to a certain extent, not uh, terribly. You must uh, understand uh, networking. That's a big key. Uh, if you're not properly networked, uh, if you are uh, experiencing high amounts of latency, if you are using the wrong cables, if you using the wrong networking switches, uh, then you're going to have issues. Uh, so these are all a lot of the things that are involved in mining Bitcoin. And you need to understand what you're doing before you go into this. Now, you say, uh, oh, why would anybody do this? Well, uh, the reason why I do it is because it is profitable if you know what you're doing. Um, if you're able to mine all of the different protocols, if you are able to set up uh, all of the different types of mining rigs for different cryptocurrencies. Combine that with the fact that we are also providing uh, internet to people in Africa. Uh, we have taken advantage of uh, a lot of tax breaks. Uh, for instance, in New London, we will uh, be receiving uh, basically very reduced tax rate uh, we will not have any duties or VAT tax on anything that we import uh, for our uh, uh, venture into uh, to New London, South Africa. So these are a lot of the things that we do uh, that help to reduce costs even further, as well as we take advantage of the uh, crypto, uh, the difference in uh, currencies between countries. Uh, and the fact that Bitcoin is the ultimate currency and when you compare the uh, price of Bitcoin to a Rand, which is what uh, we use in South Africa, uh, my electrical costs are 0 .00010, so a tenth of a cent per kilowatt. So this is... Uh, Another thing that we're doing is trying to uh, utilize the least expensive uh, amount of electricity. Uh, and that's why we've gone, one of the reasons why we've gone into South Africa. So uh, currently we are accepting investors. They must be qualified investors. You may uh, find all of our uh, information in our private prospectus at digitalminingink.com. Uh, at that part, uh, part of uh, the website, you can click on the investor tab and find that information. At that time, uh, you will be required to email me, Jason at Digital Mining Inc. or Jennifer at Digital Mining Inc. Uh, to receive the qualified investor uh, form. At that point, uh, we can uh, offer you, uh, or, or excuse me, make any type of offer toward to you, uh, at but not before then. 
Uh, you must have a qualified investor form filled out. Uh, all of the prospectus, private prospectus is just uh, information about uh, part of our offering. But as far as uh, stock price, shares, uh, income, uh, dividends, all that type of stuff uh, cannot be shared until after you filled out that form. So uh, if you are interested in developing your own Bitcoin mine, uh, I do offer consulting uh, to from completion to uh, finish on a uh, as a con consultation with just basically uh, telling you what to do. Uh, how you know helping you and assisting and consulting uh, for up to uh, three months during the construction process and uh, build out process uh, I charge 15 Bitcoin um, don't ask for me to reduce this amount because uh, it's not going to happen uh, at that time you will not receive any information about how to mine all of the different Bitcoin protocols either. Uh, I'm, that's secret to me uh, and you will not receive any of that information. It is available out there, but you have to really know what you're doing to be able to do it. As well as there are ways to utilize different uh, algorithmic and different uh, statistical analysis in order to help to increase your profit margin as well. Um, this is also something that you must uh, really understand what you're doing. So uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to email me at digital, jason at digital mining uh, dot inc, or excuse me, digital mining inc dot com. And I will, uh, uh, answer as many questions as I can um, and try and help as many people as I can uh, but if you're interested uh, in investing we are open to a limited number of qualified investors at this time as always guys I hope you have a wonderful day thank you